Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. This is episode number 634. And topic today is wide or deep, how do you love? This is actually from a conversation I had recently, but I will get to that in a moment. Before I start, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about and maybe make some sense out of this. <laughs> my, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help women create balance in love, life, and business, as I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine that actually rules my work. And that's actually what led to these talks starting over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So today's topic is, uh, I'm gonna see, so, oh, by the way, this is a Facebook Live in case you're wondering when I start talking to people you can't see. If you're watching this on YouTube, you have no idea who I'm talking to, so just just forget that, or don't ignore that part. So anyway, so um, every day I do these talks now, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time, and this weekend was a bit, was um, rearranged because of a hectic schedule, but I'm back on track today with 5 p.m. Pacific time, but I've done a one every day. And this is episode number 634 of Message for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. The topic today is wide or deep, how do you love? And I'm actually doing this backwards in a way um, because this conversation is about monogamy versus polyamory or whatever the word is the equivalent to that because some people say polyamory is not a real word, but I'm using monogamy versus polyamory just to explain a couple of things. And having um, had a really wonderful conversation with a couple of new people I met at the whole Conscious Life Expo, uh, it was on Saturday I was talking to them and they were talking about how their relationship had evolved over the years they've been together I want to say 30 years now and part of that journey was where they decided to have an open relationship and where basically it was interesting because as he, he said she was more gung-ho than he was it's wonderful which is sorry sorry Suzanne you just come to you said hi it's wonderful I'm not sure what you mean exactly so can you respond to what I said so I know which one you're saying it's wonderful too Thank you. Um, so in the conversation I was talking to, she had I was gung-ho to go out and meet new people and having some fun. And he said he contracted, he got, he got afraid. And he works in this area of fear-based, or I should say unpacking fear so it no longer affects him. But he said he couldn't wrap his head around this one and he really felt like he wanted to go back all the time, which was a good sign of desire and need and stuff like that. And it what, I, what I told him was, or what I, what I said to him, because in the conversation we're going back and forward, was how I was at an event about seven years ago now. And I was on the panel discussion after this show. It was, a, it was a, um acrobatic show that was kind of a love and relationship explainer sort of thing. The evolution of, of relationship from um, self-discovery slash uh, masturbation through to um, it was bisexuality, homosexuality, Orgy. It was it was a whole gamut they talked about, and it was all it was all done in acrobatics. It wasn't like any nudity, but it was very fun to watch. Anyway, at the end of it, we had a panel discussion. There was there were four of us on the on the couch on the panel discussion after the show. Every time I was on the show, I was on the panel about four or five times. I remember, and because a lot of the audience, um, no, not because. Let me careful. I say that a large part of the audience were were people who were very very active at Burning Man and were acrobatic people and very free thinking people. I'll put it that way. And every time we did the show, the same question would always come up. There were other questions too, but this one question kept coming up. And I was on the, I was receiving the question at the time, and the person said on the mic, um, <laughs> "Which is better, monogamy or polyamory?" And I didn't at that point. This is seven years ago. Didn't have a real strong view about it, although I was very much aligned to, to monogamy. I didn't have a thing about you shouldn't be doing polyamory. And so before I could even say anything in response, what came through me, literally, I mean, it's like the words came out of my mouth, and I was like. Who said that? Was I said, you can go wide or you can go deep. And I stopped because I didn't know what to say next. It was literally what came through me. And the person in the audience, in fact, the whole audience was like, huh? And, <laughs> and, and the person on the microphone got, who's asking the question just said, uh, what does that mean? And I said, and I literally said, hang on a second. I need to figure out what came through. So I was messing around with it too. But the reality was when I started thinking about what I meant by wide or deep, it was in the context of how deep you can go with one person versus multiple people. And this is the crux for me about choosing between monogamy and polyamory. Yes, there's a whole bunch of stuff about trust, boundaries, um, safe sex, all these different things when, you are, when you're having multiple partners. But on an overarching level, which I want to talk about this, is if you choose to be in a monogamous relationship, 
the levels of depth, and I was talking to some people recently, actually over the weekend again at the event, who've been together 25, 30 years, who said the level of their relationship gets amazingly richer and richer and richer the deeper they go together. That to me is the depth you can get to in a monogamous relationship. One person with one other person going deep, you can explore levels of connection, intimacy, sensuality, r romance, all these different things almost endlessly. There's so much to explore. And, there is, and since we are infinite beings, spiritual beings have a human experience in my languaging, there is no end to what's possible. Now, one of the challenges we face is there is only a certain amount of time we have on the planet, which is a number of you know decades, years, however you put that. So if you choose to be polyamorous, the amount of depth you can get to with seven people versus one person is gonna be obviously much smaller, which basically means you can go wider, but you can't go as deep. Unless you go with one person, you can go deeper, but not as wide. It's that choice. So the, my title literally is, wide or deep, how do you love? Because if you're someone who prefers to have multiple partners and to be polyamorous, I would ask you this question. How deep are you willing to go? Because you may not be willing to, and that may be the reason why you're choosing to be polyamorous, which is totally fine, if that's your choice. But if you're going into polyamorous relationship thinking you'll find more love, deeper love, a connection with that, I'm afraid you'll find yourself limited because you've only got so much time to play with. And the biggest challenge for me, not for me personally, but the biggest challenge I can see, I'll put it that way, is in polyamorous relationships, keeping track of everything you said or didn't say and people's emotions and feelings, it's like keeping a spreadsheet. It's not easy to do. When you're with one person, it's so much easier, frankly, to remember what was said. And just to be honest, as men, <laughs> we're not the most um, facile at remembering, I want to say data points, but I'm going to say something else, more um, subtle memories. The women, the feminine, are much generally more, more honed on remembering key pieces of data that we would totally be oblivious to the next day or the next week or the next month that you may bring back to remind us. That's a relationship issue that some people have, where she remembers he doesn't, and she goes, you said you would do this and you didn't do it, and he's like, I forgot. So, trying to multiply that by seven people, <laughs> or five people, or four people, is challenging. And I'm speaking about this from a point of view of, of a viewpoint of what works and what doesn't work. I'm not saying belief-wise you should or shouldn't do one or the other, because it's really up to you. I don't have a rule about what should or shouldn't happen, but I am clear that if you want to have the most incredible depth of connection, intimacy, and wonder in a relationship, it's easier to do it with one-on-one -on -one in monogamy than it is to do with multiple people in polyamory. And that, frankly, is the simplest way to explain it, and is why it came out that way, because it was the, simplest, the shortest answer to the question of which is better in polyamory and monogamy in three words, wide or deep. And that, frankly, is why I'm so grateful well, yeah, so I'm grateful to do the work I do and helping people attract amazing relationships because then they dive in to that amazing intimacy, connection, and richness that a relationship that is honored and respected can bring. If that's something you want and you're not getting it yet, let me say that another way. <laughs> if that's something you want and you're having challenges finding what you want, not getting it yet, that's like, no, that was too crass, then I'm going to put a link in the comments for a discovery session with me. A discovery session with me. Um, it's a gift from me to you. Um, it's for the ladies in particular. Um, if it's a, if you're a man and want some help in this area, because some men do want help, want to get some support, and it doesn't belittle them doing that, um, you can fill out the go to the same link I'll put in the comments. Just skip some of the things that don't relate to you. Fair enough. Um, with that, I think that's what you want to say. Just to, to drop that, see that nugget of ideas and thoughts into your awareness. See what you think of it. So I do invite your response on this one because this one can be challenging for some people and it can also be triggering for some people. So I do invite your responses in the comments below, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube, and I'll give you the links for those in a second too. And if you've been looking for love in all the wrong places, get clear about what it is you really want. Deep, singular connection or multiple wide connections. It's really a choice. And the thing is, as I said about this, this choice is not right or wrong, it just is a choice. It's up to you to decide what you want to do with it. So with that, I thank you for watching. I'll give you the link to replay so you can find me on my broadcast, my previous broadcast, because now I've got over 630 of these. There's a lot out there. Um, and yesterday's topic, topic, by the way, was a good one. Well, they were all good, but yesterday's was really honed in on the message, because yesterday's was about, um... oh boy. <laughs> oh, was yesterday the day before? 
Yes. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, yesterday's, yesterday's broadcast, which I do recommend you watch if you haven't seen it yet. It just clicked on what it was. Was, um, oh, yes. The cure for your past bad relationship is not your next one. That, that was a good talk, so I recommend watching that one. Um, yeah. I've had, I've actually had some interesting topics this week. This is just the, sorry, this past week. This is now the new week. So, replays. Sorry, I'm just realizing I just ran out of steam and I was going, what, what, what? See, this is what happens. This is my Facebook Live that goes out at 5 p.m. Pacific time. You can find it on my personal page. You can join me live at 5 p.m. Pacific time at facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go to my business page which is on uh, facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author where all the replays live. They're on my personal page too, but it's easy to find them on my business page. Um, thirdly, I have, a, I have a YouTube channel where they also go or get placed or get installed or uploaded, which is my name, Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And by the way, you can like my, like my Facebook page as well if you wish, if you like. Um, on YouTube, it is YouTube. Sorry, it's Barry Selby on YouTube, and the playlist on there is Messages from the Masculine. We find all of these broadcasts. And then I've also got a podcast on iTunes, also called Messages from the Masculine. You can subscribe to that, and you can get the audio versions of my earlier broadcasts. Again, I've put a link in the comments for a discovery session if this is something that speaks to you or you have some challenges, or you just want some help to get clarity about what you want to do in a relationship. And uh, again, I invite your questions, comments, and thoughts. Please put them below, and I'll respond when I sign off. Join me tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time will be a whole new topic. I have no idea what it's going to be yet. I will by then. So I wish you well. Take care of yourself. If you have any questions, reach out to me. If you want to get do some work, send me a message over social media or fill out the form. I'll put the link in the comments for that. And uh, as a reminder, love yourself first so you can love other people. It really works that way. And with that, I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>